So in this video, I just want to go over serviced accommodation. Great strategy, uh, can be very lucrative. A lot of moving parts to it, but you can get it seamless. You can get processes, you can get automations and everything to make it easy. But in this video, I just want to cover the fundamentals of it. So service accommodation, also known as essays and holiday lets, short term lets, um, typically known as SA really. Um, you might have heard of it if you're not familiar with the strategy, Airbnb. Um, what else have we got? We've got booking.com, TripAdvisor, you know, all that type of stuff. So it's always, um, in brief, what we do is instead of, so we take a property and rather than rent it to a tenant on an AST on a monthly basis, what we then do is actually rent it to guests on a nightly basis, okay? So whereas on an AST, you're pretty much gonna have 30 days a month full with guests, you might only have 21, 25, you know, it just depends how occupied you are and how good of a job you do at, at hosting really, I, you know, and it's all set per pricing. But what is crucial about service accommodation for me is there are a lot of businesses that travel and if you focus on the business market, that's where the money is. So if you think about it, businesses send in a group of squaddies away to go and work on a, um, what have we had recently? A new roadworks development down the road here, huge project, three year job. So different skill sets required, different setups, whether it be, you know, the tarmacan or the steel bridges or whatever it might be. There are specialized firms that get deployed to run these projects. They get paid very well, but ultimately they have to house their employees whilst they're away. So most of them will stay Monday to Friday, sometimes come on a Sunday night, and they just want a home from home. So on top of the setup of everything, so as well as charging per night or per week, depending on how you, how you set yourself up, you might also uh, want to um, you know, what, what you then have to consider is that the whole thing needs uh, setting up with, let me just get the right thing, bills, fully inclusive, furniture, we need all that in that. Uh, we then need to run the cleaning. It becomes a bit of a mini hotel operation. We need the linen. We need consumables, so you're going to have to top your shampoos up, etc., etc. And all this forms, obviously, the running of the property on a nightly rate, which more than likely will be more than you would get for an AST. Because that's the only reason you would do it, because there is a lot more moving parts, there's a lot more hassle involved in it than running a normal tenant. You know, a normal tenant, you just put in the property and they rent from you. Hopefully, they pay the rent and everything's good. So, but on this, you've got to... There's a lot of moving parts that you've got to be able to put it all together. But let's just have a look at a couple of examples. So, for example, I have got a two-bed, well, let's think of some of the ones. I've got a three-bed terraced house, literally just a three-bed terraced house uh, in a street outside of Sunderland. And typical AST on that would be about £550 a month. So that's all we would get for that property as an AST 550. And that's done up nice, refurb, modern, you know. So if we rent that on a Airbnb strategy, service accommodation, then we could potentially charge anywhere from, so I would actually have that probably sleeping six to eight people with a sofa bed. So we could charge anywhere from 75 to 150 pounds per night. Now your operational costs, let's just assume it's 50%. Okay, depends how good you are, can be more, can be less. So out of that 75, 150 pounds, 50%, 50 that's going to be profit. Obviously out of your 550 with your AST, all you really got to pay is your mortgage and your insurance and the rest of it's profit. Okay, so there are a lot more costs involved in running the service accommodation strategy. But if I was to get, let's just say, for argument's sake, let's go in the middle here, 100 pounds, and I get 21 nights booked that month, well, that's 2,100 pounds. Now, assuming that we make 50% profit, that's 1,050 pounds profit versus 
the 550 that we're going to get from the AST. And then obviously out of that 1050, uh, well, actually that's profits. We would have factored in all of our costs in that. So, you know, as you can see there, you know, on the mortgage, you might make 350 pounds per month. On the service accommodation route, we're going to make 1050. So that's how service accommodation works in brief. There are a lot of moving parts to it. Again, if you've got any more questions about service accommodation, ping them into the group and we'll get them answered. Just tag me in. Um, I love this strategy. I think it's awesome. There's a lot of satisfaction in putting all this together, putting all the moving pieces together, building the team to make it work. And just because I'm saying build a team doesn't necessarily mean I have to hire employees actually uh, either. But it's, it's, it's a really good strategy and it's definitely worthwhile considering. So dive into the research element, figure out where it works close to you, figure out what the property prices are close to you. And then let's maybe have a discussion on where we can go hunting for service accommodation and get this set up because done right, you know, this is the, one of the quickest cash flow strategies to get you to three grand net a month, five grand net a month, 10 grand net a month. And it can scale very quickly because unlike HMOs where we need bigger properties, which there's less stock of, you can run essays on, you know, one bed, two beds, three beds, doesn't matter, four beds, five beds, six beds. Now I've got a 10 bed, you know, so anything from studio flats all the way up over. So basically you've got the pick of the entire property market in terms of stock. So sometimes it's easier to acquire these because there's more stock and also it you know, makes quite a lot of money on the back end done correctly. So it's a good win-win situation. So hope that helps. Dive into your research, figure out where your area is. And once you have, if you've got any more questions, ping them in the Facebook group and uh, hopefully start looking for some service accommodation deals for your portfolio.